Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Barry Nobles. I've been a little MIA lately. I do a lot here, ride bikes, ride Harleys, build ramps, and try to do a lot of how-tos for bike skills for you guys. I got a piece of machinery out here. I did a bunch of work to the yard, and I really look forward to actually fine-tuning all that. Everything's really linking together really well. Anyways, today, we're gonna build a bunny hop stand. We've done jump videos, and I was trying to think of some way that I could help you guys develop your jumping even more. You can do it right at home. You don't need a big yard. Literally, all you need is a driveway. I wanna show you guys how using the bunny hop stand can improve your jumping greatly. So you're able to boost high and have that proper technique over doubles. So making this bunny hop stand, it should cost you around 20 bucks. You're gonna go to Home Depot, Lowe's, your local hardware store, you're gonna get a five foot PVC pipe, which is anywhere from three to four bucks, two eight foot two by fours, and a box of nails. We're gonna put a bunch of nails on the side, which will hold the PVC on. We're gonna take one two by four, we're gonna cut it in half so you'll have two four foot pieces. That means our bunny hop stand is gonna be four foot high. Then you're gonna take the other eight foot two by four, and you're gonna cut eight little blocks. These are gonna be footings to hold the stand up in little one foot increments. You don't have to cut these angles in it. I just did that to make them look a little better when it's on the ground. Yeah, everything's cut, let's get to it. So we got our four legs, our four legs for the other pole, one four foot. Arm, leg, pole, whatever you're gonna call it, two. First, we're gonna put together the legs on the long way. We're gonna put them that way. And then we're gonna come through with the other ones and put them right there. Got it? Good. A two by four is three and a half inches tall, stood up like this, so the lowest we can do is three and a half inches, so I hope you can bunny hop over that. After that, we're gonna do one inch increments. We're gonna go all the way up, so by the time you get higher and higher, you can work and go one inch at a time to jump higher and higher. As I was putting all these nails in, I realized how many nails it was taking, so I actually started doing every two inch. That's it, that's our bunny hop pole. I'm gonna switch clothes, put some riding shoes on, and we'll start riding this. It's the next day because it started raining. We got a little Willow here today. She's back from pregnancy. It looks like I'm gonna do the limbo. You gonna take the baby for a minute? Yeah. Give him a bug. Hey, Curly. We're gonna go this direction. Make sure the nails face the same way you're riding because this way, when you go to hit it, if you don't clear it, you can hit it and it bounces right off. You want me to bunny hop that high? No. You're not gonna this. You're gonna be like under these boards. I'm scared that I'm <laughs> gonna fall. So nails facing the direction that you're riding. So I'm actually gonna put it all the way down for you to try it. Because hey. I obviously can bunny hop over it, but I want to have someone. I want to teach someone how to do it, like all these fine riders out here. Okay. You ready? Let's do it. We'll start all the way down. Let's start right here. Three and a half inches. That's so Can't she high. get it? You don't think you can clear that? I'm just kidding. I don't know. So, Kelsey's going to do it on the BMX bike, and I'm going to do it on the mountain bike. Do I need to put a helmet on? Yeah. There you go. Hara, Max ODI Fly athlete. I'm so sponsored. <laughs> Okay, hopefully you've seen the jump videos and you go through the basics. So one of the biggest things I see when I'm teaching jumping is people don't want to go through, or not they don't want to, people can't go through the proper technique, which is obviously, it's not easy. You don't just get it overnight. So a bunny hop stand, you can't really cheat it. If you go and like lift on your clips and lift both wheels at the same time, you're obviously not gonna get very high. Now you have a point of judgment so now you can start working on your technique. So if you're one of those riders that really pulls on the clips and they and you try to like do everything at once, like that, 
you're not gonna get very high. Notice how when I use the two wheel up technique, you almost can't even clear the pole. You just go up, you don't really get a good lift. But then when you come through and you lift front wheel first, full extension and let everything follow, you can actually get on the pole. I I don't think Kelsey's gonna clear the- Why? I wanna be able to teach you the technique and we can work our way up a little Look more. Look how high I can jump. You think that I'm not gonna clear that? <laughs> I'm just gonna let Kelsey go and see what happens her first time with zero input. Okay, I need a warm up. Come on, Opie. Whoa. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got scared. Fast, you got it. Oh! How do I get both of them off? I just know how to do one. You're pulling as you would into a manual. You really want to be chest at the stem so you can get max amount of, max amount of up force. You're down here, you're pulling. You are pulling up like it's going into a manual, but instead of going way back here, you're pulling and it's kind of like when your arms are getting straight that's when you're going straight up you should end up pretty penciled out as you go up and then you're lifting your legs that's what levels you out your arms go level out in the air and come in two wheels down higher we go you yank so hard sometimes you might get nose heavy sometimes you might be perfectly level sometimes you might come in back wheel first. It just kind of happens where you pull, how hard you pull, and that's why we're doing this because none of us are perfect. I can do every one of these marks and half of them I might mess up and go a little nose high or whatever. You're not gonna land even every time. So start low, go through the process, and work your way up. And when we do those, those jumps you do when you try to jump as high as you can. Yeah. So the same way, think of you holding the handlebars and then really squat down, like bring your chest to the handlebars and then you're gonna explode up. And my arms? The force of you going down to the bars then back up, and then you get full extension and your arms straighten out. Cause if you go and you try to lift from here, you're fighting your muscles from wanting to go up. So you're going chest all the way, full extension where your arms lock and then your arms are pulling your handlebars up. So how do I get my so back? So we'll start with there lock. first. The more force you go up and pull up and then you're lifting your legs and that's what brings the back wheel up. More force you can go to the sky, everything follows. Okay. Try it again. So you're doing the squat jump, but you're going squat jump and pull up like that. Easy as that. <laughs> Easy as that. <laughs> now when you do this, do this too. Again. Barry, I'm a lost cause, dude. Oh, your back will come off the ground that time. Now, the goal is to get Kelsey over the two by four. As long as we get your timing right, you're gonna get over it. I'm gonna keep going up and up and up and up and up. <laughs> Down. So you do this with your feet? I'm not consciously doing that, mm -hmm. but I'm going up and then everything's forward. So you seeing my feet lift is me just angling, because then we're going up and then we gotta angle everything level to come back in for landing. I you're, feel like my really back wheel came off. It did. So we just reviewed the video and Kelsey can actually clear it, but what I'm noticing now, she's not going fast enough. So she's going through the motions actually really well. And then she's getting her front wheel up, it's getting over the pole and her back wheel comes up but it actually drops back on the ground before she gets to the pole, so that's what happens. So, you look way taller I'm than me I'm a pro right bitch, now. leave me alone. <laughs> I, you tell me to pedal really fast, but then you tell me, pull up, explode, do these things. I can't think of it all at once. <laughs> I'm like, I can focus on, okay, I'm gonna pedal really fast, but my right foot's not gonna be forward. <laughs> Should I lay her down in bunny hopper? I bet you I'll bunny hop, <laughs> then. <laughs> oh! I keep hitting it. I have to try and picture I'm flying. You're flying, okay. Make sure you're flying. You got this. I do got it. Oh! Here, I'm gonna pass the camera to you. You take a break. I'm tired, oh my God. Bunny hopping is, takes it out of me. Jeez. All right, we'll start off at a foot. Can you see the difference at all? In me and you, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm in. Well, duh, but. 
he's doing two feet trying to embarrass me because I can't even do three inches. How you sleeping when mom is X Games mode right now? She's not even watching me. Oh, this is the bunny hopping shoes right here. Well then let me use them. <laughs> it's got some secret juice. All right, two and a half feet. Let's, let's go to three feet just for shits and giggles and see if I can get over it. Ah! You were there. Was that close? Yeah. Why do you come around on the side like you're gonna high jump it? You know how when you weren't clearing it, like like you were getting the height, but you weren't going far enough forward. Mm -hmm. So this way, I'm turning a little bit, so oh. you're not having to clear. So I don't clear. I don't hit it going down. Well, then why didn't you tell me that? I don't really think it would have made a difference. <laughs> you see the guy, the moto guys, how they really turn off the lip to get around it. It's the same kind of concept. Oh. But you're just kind of, you're kind of angling your body to get over the pole a little better. You still have to get the height no matter what angle you go, mm -hmm. but it makes it easier instead of me yanking as hard as I can and say I clear it, but my, I say I clear it back here and my back will starts coming down and it'll hit it and knock it off. Right. Another go at three feet. All right, last one. Everything I got. Everything you got. Go. Yeah, you did it. We could do this all day. We take this over to one of the tabletops so I can show these people how, if they want to step it up from just bunny hopping all on flat ground, take it to a jump put it in the middle, then you really work on going up as well. Me? Not you. Oh. No. I would have done it. <laughs> I know you would have. So we set it up on one of my tabletop jumps that I use for exactly this, learning to jump for people. So uh, yeah, this is something you can do. Set it up on a jump. Ideally, like a BMX track would be easier because you have really wide jumps. You can set them anywhere. Obviously, you can tell the legs are hanging off the side of the jump. So, um, yeah, we've upgraded. So, if you're feeling good on the flat ground and you really wanna test your skills and get your get some height out of your jumping, then this is how we're gonna do it. So, since I felt really good on the flat ground, I'm gonna be doing this. I forgot my helmet, but I'm really good, so I don't need it. All right, it's set at two feet. Set at three feet. I'm gonna demonstrate how much easier it is using a massive kicker. Stay charged. And he clears it. He does it. Okay, you guys get the point. 20 bucks. Snake, snake. Snake. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Got you. oh, I just saw one today too, so I was like, there could be one there. I know. Like I was saying, get out there, make you a bunny hop hole, guaranteed to help your jumping. Work on that technique. There's plenty of slow mo videos you just watched. Come back and watch this as much as you can. I hope it helps everyone jump a little higher with a little more control. It's not even so much about being able to jump high, but having that right technique which will in return give you more stability in the air more control because you want to be driving your bike not it driving you comment below what you want to see next I, uh, I'm always trying to think of little how to's how I can help you guys so uh, we got plenty of room here if we don't have what you want I'll build it and uh, one it'll give me a new feature and two it'll give me something else to teach you guys how to do so comment below let me know what you think until next time Peace. If you did just as well as Kelsey did, please let me know because I want to see where you're at now and I want to see where you're going to end up 
after you build one of these. Ain't nobody gonna sh tell you that they were on my level. Nobody's gonna hey, say that. It's okay if you are, we all gotta start somewhere. There was one point in time where I couldn't clear a little two by four either. I mean, I was like three, but. Shut up. 